Wow, haven't done this in a long time. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I have another exciting haul for you guys. So I will be showing you all the things that I got from Princess Polly. For those of you who are not familiar with Princess Polly, they are an Australian label and one of my favorite, favorite online retailers. But what I really love about Princess Polly is that all of their clothing is so trendy and cute. So I think that the summer haul is actually perfect for this brand because a lot of their stuff is is very summery and I just wanted to show you guys some of the things that I got recently from them this video is in collaboration with Princess Polly I will be leaving a link of all the things that I'm wearing including this super cute dress I actually wore this on my trip to Arizona and some of you have asked where this dress is from and it's from Princess Polly so not only will I be leaving a link of all the things that I'm wearing but I will also be giving you guys a discount code which I kind of forgot on the top of my head but I will leave it down below but it is 20% off so I will leave all of those links down below. The other thing that I really like about them is that I've worn so many of their dresses and all of their clothing is actually very, very good quality. So this dress, I actually got it from one of my very first orders and I wore this for New Year's Eve. And what I was really surprised about is that I thought this was gonna be really thin, but in reality, this is probably one of the thickest and most comfortable material I've ever come across. The other thing I wanted to talk about as well is that if you are in between sizes, do go up the size or choose the size up. The other thing is also make sure you read the reviews because that was how I was able to judge what type of sizes I should get. Generally for me, I'm usually like an extra small small and for me, when it comes to Princess Polly, that translated to a size six. I was in between size four and six, but I ended up going a size up and in general that did really, really well with all of the clothing. I feel like a size six was pretty good. Make sure you still read the reviews because sometimes certain items are a little bit larger than it's supposed to be, so just look out for that. So anyway, without further ado, I'm gonna get started with the video. The only thing that's a little bit different is that previously I would talk about what I get and then kind of like do an overlay. This time I'm gonna just do it at the same time. I'll be able to show you guys better when I'm wearing it, so I hope you like this different format or let me know if you like the previous format where I'm just kind of sitting down and talking about each item and then doing an overlay. Yeah, let me know what you guys think and I really hope you enjoy this video. So the first item that I wanna show you guys is this really cute coat that I got. I've been really into denim jackets and stuff so I feel like this one is a summer version of a denim jacket and it has this really cute suede material. It's also in a really nice tan color so it's just very very cute to throw on top on cooler summer days. This jacket has become one of my favorites in the summer and I feel like it's also a really good transition piece when it starts becoming a little bit colder and transitioning into fall. item I got is this really cute yellow dress and I feel like I've been really into light yellow especially for the summertime. What I also really like about it is that it's very very comfortable and this is just such a cute cute little sundress. So if you follow me on Instagram you might have already seen this dress make an appearance but this is one of the dresses I can't stop wearing in the summer. You can also adjust this so obviously mine's a little tighter because I don't have boobs but this one is one of those dresses that you can't really go wrong in size as long as you're in the range. So the next dress that I got is this really cute leopard dress and I actually really like to wear it with a shirt underneath just because it makes it a little bit more casual. For this one I also got in a size 6 but I do wish that I sized down just for this one because it is already very loose. You can definitely size down a little bit more and you can also adjust the straps as well. Obviously you can wear it on its own but to make it a little bit more casual I like to wear a t-shirt. There have been a lot of leopard prints that have been coming out but honestly this one is probably one of my favorite leopard prints that have come out. There's some really weird ones out there. There's like weird colors and like, I don't know, like what the pattern is off. And what I also love about it is that it looks really good with a black belt. So I'm just going to show you here. You can make it a little bit more edgy by putting on boots or even just keeping it with the sneakers. The next two items that I got is this top and this skirt. One thing about this top is that I really like the trend where there's a tie at both ends. I feel like it's super cute and also very adjustable. So I've been seeking out all these types of tops for a long time. The other thing is that this one is a little bit more high-waisted, so it ends right here. And I find that if you're gonna buy tops, especially for the summer, it's actually better to go more towards 
towards the shorter end just because I feel like a lot of bottoms these days are high waisted so sometimes if you get a top that's too long it might just crumple up so it's better if it's a little bit shorter I feel like it goes with a lot of the stuff in the summertime so this skirt is actually also another tying skirt so you can also adjust this pretty freely it is on the longer end and one of the reasons why I really like the longer end trend is because it kind of makes it more work appropriate I can wear it for work on more casual days and the skirt also has a little slit on the side so it's super cute looks like this okay so the next dress that I got is so cute it is this red dress right here it is on the lower end so if you aren't as comfortable with showing your cleavage or you know even if you don't have cleavage i think this looks fine it looks less slutty in my opinion but i love the pattern of this dress and i also love the sleeves this one is one of those dresses where it looks really good but you definitely can't be going to all you can eat with this dress i don't know how you guys categorize your clothing but this is how i categorize it it's like do i look good and you know be a little bit uncomfortable or is it look good and also I can go to all you can eat. So this is one of those dresses where this area is a little bit tighter around the stomach, but I just couldn't help myself. This dress is so cute that I had to get it and it is on the shorter end. This dress is just a little bit scanty, but honestly, very cute, very worth it. This is also one of my favorite summer dresses. So the last dress that I wanted to show you guys is this black polka dotted dress. So you can see a theme here. I love the tie straps. I think it just makes the outfit look so much cuter when the straps are like that. It's an easy way for you to adjust the straps as well. I actually got this dress a long time ago. You must have seen it in previous photos or even just in my stories. But I just wanted to add this to the haul because this is my first Princess Polly YouTube haul. So I wanted to expose this also to the YouTube world in case you don't follow me on Instagram but this is what it looks like and I find that this is also one of the most comfortable skirts I've ever owned. I also like to wear this with all types of shoes. I've worn it with boots, with sneakers, with sandals. It's just so easy to dress up or down. I also like to wear a t-shirt under this dress as well. So the last item that I want to show you guys is a pair of shoes that I got. For the summertime, I feel like I always like to get shoes that are lighter or they have this type of straw material. It just makes it look a lot more summery. This pair of shoes honestly goes with a lot of my clothing especially when it comes to white dresses in the summertime or like any type of linen material so if you're ever wondering sorry I'm just like waving this in your face but if you're ever wondering what types of shoes goes with your white dresses or what are the type of shoes that are best for the summer I would highly recommend these type of wedges and the other benefit too is that I feel like because they're not suede or leather it doesn't seem as hot so this is very very cool on my feet all day every day so before I end off the video I know I started to to say that when it comes to hauls I'm always gonna narrow down my top three items the three finalists that I have it would be this dress that I'm wearing right here I also want to say that it's kind of tied with the dress that I wore in my intro I think this one's still more practical but that one is just so cute to give up so I think they're tied but this one still wins by a little bit the second item would be the yellow sundress that I showed you guys like I said it's one of my most worn dresses in the summer also the most comfortable also most versatile you guys can go eat with this you can do anything and then the last one is this coat this is just for the cooler summer day because it's so cute and I also think that this is gonna come in handy once it reaches fall this is why it made it to my short list so that was pretty much the video for today I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys enjoyed this alternate version of me doing a try on haul please let me know if you like the older version better where I'm talking and then kind of just showing you guys the outfits afterwards or if you continue to like me talking while I'm already in the outfit and don't forget I have left all the links down below for you to shop and you can also use my code for 20% off your entire purchase on Princess Polly. So I hope you enjoyed this haul as much as I had fun trying it on for you guys and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! That's good. And oh, oh my god, getting a little scandalous up here. Oh my gosh, sorry, I forgot to tie this up.